In 2016, I ran across this definition of ark, a vessel or sanctuary that serves as protection from extinction. My immediate thought was to make arcs for every living thing. I have made a good number of them since then and plan on continuing indefinitely. At first I used antique engravings of animals, birds, fish, and insects, and included them in mixed-media paintings on 9 inch by 9 inch panels. Once I had made almost 200 smaller arcs, they started to get bigger. There were many variations on the theme that evolved from this arc sanctuary concept, like this totem pole of animals in one arc. This is arc for all creatures, too, 4 feet by 2 feet. This Ark for Zebra was one of three paintings that went into a wonderful collection in Santa Barbara after they were exhibited at the Albuquerque Art Museum in 2017. Three Arcs made in 2019 was a commission for a space that called for a painting eight feet long and two feet tall. This was the first time that I incorporated oil paintings of animals with the antique engravings, and I found it a successful marriage of techniques, so I started working larger with animals painted in oil. The first was Ark for Baby Elephant, three feet by three feet. When I was featured at my Sanibel Island gallery in Florida, I thought of working with the endangered Florida panther, again on a three foot by three foot panel. This led to considering a project with only critically endangered animals in arcs, the Poetic Arc series. Segments of the arcs, flowers, butterflies, fish, and other elements were applied to the panel with an acrylic transfer process, and then the animals were rendered in oil pastel. The Amur leopard from Russia and China. The Borneo elephant of Indonesia. The hawksbill turtle, which lives worldwide in the oceans. The cross river gorilla of Nigeria and Cameroon. And the black rhino of several countries in Africa. The Malayan tiger of Malaysia. I intentionally painted each animal looking out at us as if to ask, what the heck are you all doing to this planet? With the Poetic Arc series, my intention is to bring attention to critically endangered fauna and flora estimated at 8,400 species in 2022. Arcs represent hope. Despair is not an option. However, neither is apathy. My hope is that we all do what we can in a variety of ways to help the species that are in danger. We form the interdependent web of life on this planet in their company.